it's Eugenia. So as some of you guys might know, I am a super, super emo person. And sometimes you might wonder, like, how did I discover that I was emo? And maybe you're thinking that you might be emo too. And there may be a couple of really, really crazy things happening to your life, and you're wondering why. And the reasons that these things could be happening is because you're emo. So I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of ways where if these things are just happening in your life, then it's pretty much guaranteed that you are also emo. And if you end up discovering that you are emo, then you should just embrace it because being emo is the best way to live life. So one of the first and most amazing things that happens when you're emo is in a dream you may see this beautiful creature named Gerard Way come down to you and ask you to join the Black Parade. Gerard will just come down to you blessing you with the offer to join the Black Parade and if that happens to you then I definitely recommend that you accept it and join the Black Parade and embrace your emotis because that is one of the best things that could ever happen to you. You may suddenly have this crazy urge to capture band members and store them in your closet. Like I actually made a video a while ago about the time that I captured Brendan Yuri and kept him in my closet for a bunch of years and it was really crazy. It's totally normal, like if people tell you it's not, don't listen to them. Brendan and I had some amazing times in that closet, like totally. This was the closet right here that I kept Brendan in for all those few years and we had some pretty great times in here. I had a lot of friends for him and the closet's making weird noises. Oh my gosh, it's like haunted. Yeah, Bubbles is a great Powerpuff Girl friend. She's like my favorite Powerpuff Girl. I wanna knock the lamp over. Okay, well the closet is making weird noises. So I think the closet is like haunted or something like that. You'll also probably find that you're suddenly really attracted to Jack Skellington. Pretty much married. You'll probably discover that you really, really like the color black, and you may start liking the color black so much that you actually start seeing in black and white. It's just like a super cool emo power kind of thing. <laughs> like right now, if you're seeing this video in black and white, congratulations, you're probably emo. You'll probably start to want wearing a lot of black, like as you can see, have a pretty good amount of black on right now. You'll also probably have this big obsession with wearing a lot of eyeliner, and want to start making your eyes black too and putting a lot of eyeliner on, kind of like how I do. And your dreams will probably only continue getting crazier and crazier and more filled of great emo situations. Your dreams will go from like Gerard asking you to join the Black Parade to crazy things like emo wrestling rinks. Like the wrestling rinks can be like Gerard Way versus Brendan Yuri versus Andy Bearsack versus Jack Skellington and yeah, your dreams just continue getting crazier and crazier. Chances are that you'll no longer really feel the need to be social with the real world anymore. I mean, of course you can go on the internet and find fellow other emo beings, which is always wonderful. But yeah, with other emos, you'll probably just start developing like these amazing telepathical powers where you can pretty much just communicate with your mind. I mean, after all, that is pretty much what happened with you and Gerard. Like, it's not like you physically even were there with him in person. He just came to you in a dream, telepathically, and pretty much asked you to join the Black Parade. That's just a great thing about being emo, is like telepathic powers. All right guys, well those are a couple of ways to know if you are emo, and if you said yes to any of these things, then hey, you're probably emo. <laughs> and obviously this video was not meant to be completely serious like at all. So I really hope I didn't offend anyone because that would like never be my intentions and stuff. So yeah, hope I helped some of you guys discover if you're also a wonderful emo being just like me. Well, if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you discover your inner emo being, <laughs> then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you'll know when I post new videos, so that would be cool. Well, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys really soon in another video, so yeah. Alright, bye guys!